Oh, wait, well, I'm sorry, I suffer from immature ejaculation. <laughs> But, you know, my genes haven't heard about child support and I can make a baby in two minutes flat. No big deal to me. So, so that's why women tend to be a bit more uh, selective uh, than men. And uh, it took scientists a long time to figure this out because it, it, all scientists used to be males. And males kind of like to think that they're in charge in the relationship. Got a house. I'm a homeowner. Head of the household. King of the castle. No, you bought her a house. Uh, before you met her, you were living in squalor with two other dipshits eating ramen noodles. <laughs> then you met her, she put an end to that. Then you bought her a house that she probably picked out, then decorated with a bunch of stuff you don't even understand. <laughs> I know you thought having a couch with a cup holder in it seemed real practical. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Maybe if you're on your best behavior, she'll let you put that tacky thing out in your man cave. <laughs> oh yeah, where is this man cave? The attic or the basement? Oh, I'm the garage. <laughs> Not even attached to the house. <laughs> she gave you a shed. <laughs> Put a couple of your dumb belongings. You think you are in charge? That's hilarious. You know what I got? My man came just a closet with a Batman poster. <laughs> I'm not in charge of shit. <laughs> Don't feel bad about it, fellas. Doesn't matter who you are. I swim through the channels, and there's a Snoop Dogg documentary on. Uh, oh, let's see what Snoop's up to. I was talking about what a pimp he is and whatnot, right? Now, Snoop, he's, got, he's probably made a billion dollars, I'm sure. He's one of the most famous rappers of all time. And they're showing he's got this $30 million mansion. Then I notice Snoop isn't in his $30 million mansion. His wife's in his mansion. Snoop and his buddies? They're out back in some shitty shack, sitting in broken lawn chairs, playing video games. $30 million mansion, broken lawn chairs. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's writing a bunch of misogynistic lyrics catering to sexually frustrated 15-year-old boys. He has a song titled, Bitch, Please. <laughs> hilarious. That's what he does. He goes out on the road, Bitch, Please. Bitch, Please. And all the young guys that don't know anything about women, you know, oh, yeah, awesome Snoop, yeah, that's how you talk to women. They don't realize he has to go home like, bitch, please, can I have some ginger? <laughs> <laughs> so